Hey, what's up? This is Ian, and we're in Fukuoka at Ohori Park, and we're looking at some ducks. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, my first six weeks or so uh, in Fukuoka, and uh, what I'm doing, what's going on, and how I think about it, the good and the bad, and whatnot. So, um, I'd say it's going pretty good. There's a lot of cool, uh, this is a nice place. I ride through here every day when uh, I go to uh, jiu-jitsu and Japanese classes. And it's, it's a nice place. I enjoy coming through here. So, it's a really big park and really beautiful. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of birds, like different kinds of uh, birds and ducks and turtles and um, probably fish. I haven't seen any fish here, but I've definitely seen uh, some fish other places. So, Japan, how is it? Um, the good and the bad. Where do I start? Okay, I'll start with what's just doing this off the cuff here. Probably, uh, I'm staying in a share house. So, the good thing about that is I only have a tourist visa. So, if you only have a tourist visa, you're kind of limited by finding places to rent because most people don't want to rent to you because they think you're just going to be here for a couple months and they want you to have like a proper visa like long-term visa so a share house is like i signed a contract there for six months and there's some pigeons here checking me out and um so and i didn't have to pay like much to move in a lot of places in Japan, you have to pay a lot of uh, money, deposits, and uh, key money, and cleaning fees, and all these like fees and stuff. So there, I didn't really have to do that, and I didn't have to have a, a visa. So it's relatively cheap. It's like if I had a visa, I could find it actually a cheaper place. But um, yeah, and not being able to speak Japanese makes it a little bit more difficult too. So, uh, uh, so that's kind of the good thing, how it's like easier to get into. But, uh, I don't know, I changed. I've been in two different share houses since I've been here. And first one, like, was just like noisy. The wall, they're, they're both actually just kind of like, kind of crappy construction like I'm just telling it same, you know this this is what it is and um, first one is worse the second one I am is a little bit better although it's just like complicated you're living with other people it's kind of like a hostel it's just kind of like um, hostel slash like regular flat with housemates basically like right now I live in it's like a big house and it's like have maybe five roommates or something and I don't know it's just like this is like a interpersonal thing. Like, um, I just prefer to live by myself, so I don't have to. Uh, I don't know. Some people are fine, and some people just, I don't know, just negative, and uh, I don't know. They, they just kind of influence you just being around them. So it's just complicated. It's better to just live by yourself, I think. Uh, unless you just like get along with the people. And so I've kind of had some like challenges with some of the people that I've lived with and whatnot so that's a share house that's a good and bad with that um other than that what else okay jujitsu's pretty awesome um yeah it's just jujitsu is just like a i don't know it's like a little microcosm of life it's challenging and it's fun and it's uh um, you lose a lot and you win sometimes but most of the time you just lose actually um, especially when you're starting off so that's that's great and I, f I like where I where I train and the people there everybody's pretty nice and um, it's really fun I mean it's a little bit different because in, in Japan people are small like the average weight weights like a hundred and I don't know maybe between 140 and 150 pounds and in America like the states the average weight is like a hundred I think between 180 and 190 pounds so people are closer to my size I'm actually probably right in the middle actually slightly on the bigger side maybe I'm five foot eleven and like 158 pounds which is pretty small in America uh, but here I'm more like medium-ish 
there's still some people here of course bigger than me or heavier than me but that's a little different um generally kind of easy going so it's just as good learning japanese is pretty good i take these like uh classes taught by volunteers they're not it's not like at a proper school so it's um it's a little more free form and uh the teaching kind of can kind of vary like like some teachers are better than others um yeah i don't know uh most of them aren't like they don't really have much of a background in teaching they're just volunteers right but it's really cheap and i pay like two bucks a month for like one class a week and uh, i do a total of like four or five classes a week so um that's pretty good uh japan the cool things about japan japan is it's very orderly and clean like if if you haven't like been in asia or taught in asia like japan is like it's like gonna be like the cleanest most orderly place you could uh be in asia basically the only other place would be like Singapore. not if you maybe you teach here or don't like i used to teach english i don't do it now i just I help teachers online through my website, ESL Insider. and um, But anyways, Japan's like, uh, it's, it's more orderly, it's cleaner than a place like, say, China or Taiwan or even Korea. Korea's like a little bit closer to Japan. Um, it's more organized. Uh, people are very polite. Um, but there's a dark side of that too. The dark side is like sometimes people are, are very rigid, very, very obedient and rule following. And um, uh, kind of narrow minded, uh, closed minded, very conscientious. I think that's the word, conscientious. Very high in conscientiousness. Uh, if you ever, I recommend, uh, test by um, Jordan Peterson has a a test uh, what is, is it the big five test or is it something else might not be the big five anyways you look up Jordan Peterson's personality test I really recommend it it's way more detailed than the other ones and um, um, for example like I would say like Eastern Asian culture Japan uh, especially would be very high in conscientiousness which is means they're very like law abiding law abiding and uh just rule orientated and structured and and um and whatnot me and my my tests are actually pretty low in conscientiousness which means i'm not very law abiding or rule following or stuff like that i'm more like free thinker type so then you think maybe there's some conflict there but um yeah, I mean, not. it's just like that. I'm talking about the general culture, the general like cultural mentality and whatnot. Of course, there's going to be people are people are different and whatnot. But like the culture is like the personality of the country. Right. And it affects everybody, I think. Um, you, too. You're, you just got a different different culture. So, um, yeah, I think like with some of the stuff with like the roommates and stuff that I've been here or difficulties I had is probably do with that. Just kind of different mindset or just kind of like rigid thinking about stuff. It's nice though. I like Japan. I'm going to apply for uh, a cultural visa for jujitsu and hopefully I'll get that and I'll be able to stay longer. Um, that would be really good. And hopefully I could stay for a year, get a visa for a year anyways. And um, yeah, for practicing jujitsu. That'd be really awesome, actually. So uh, that's Japan in a snapshot. Um, there's some good and there's some bad to it. So um, it's not really that expensive. Like a lot of people say, it's, I guess it depends how you live and what you do what you don't do like you can find cheap housing here i pay um like i'm in a share house but there's other like housing that's even a little cheaper like i pay like four four hundred bucks for my own room it's actually pretty big but it's not very solid like the houses like these there's a lot of like cheap japanese houses out there and some of them kind of look cool but the construction is like really 
um, they're, they're just wimpy houses, like, they're not very solid. Um, so, ideally it'd be great to get into uh, a cement uh, apartment building, because cement is more, it's more solid and quiet. According to my jiu-jitsu teacher who owns the building that, uh, where we train at, it's not very, um, um, what's the word? There's no insulation, so, like, it's not very... Uh, it's like hot and cold, you know, um, but as far as sound goes, it's, it's, in my experience, way better than living in a wood house. It's way more uh, quiet and whatnot. All right, so it looks pretty nice, huh? I think that's a cherry blossom, and tis the season and the time for cherry blossoms. So I'm no longer at Ohori Park. I'm kind of in the neighborhood where I live. And some other nice flowers here. And I thought of a couple things that uh, I could uh, talk about that I didn't mention that I forgot to mention. Uh, number one would be uh, politeness. I'd say, man, people are are mostly very respectful and very polite and um, just yeah um, very polite now on the other hand like people like you, you might not get like a straight answer sometimes from people or people don't want to this is kind of like an, an, it's not just a Japanese thing but it's like you could get this in China or you know, Taiwan, Korea, those other places that I lived. Um, you know, they, they might not want to tell you no, or they might not want to tell you something negative. So they kind of beat around the bush. And um, it's just kind of confusing, I think, for probably most Westerners. And um, just kind of like um, polite on the surface, but maybe maybe someone would say two-faced no, i'm not saying um oh, this looks nice this little kitty there's nice flowers here i'm not saying uh all japanese uh people are like this of course but is this nice huh but i think there is some of that like it might be nice to your face but I don't know. I, I just kind of feel it a little bit like where I live, like kind of wonder like if people like kind of talking behind your back or saying something negative about you or something. Maybe I'm a little paranoid, whatever. I'm going to trespass here for a moment. Um, yeah. Ooh, look at all those oranges. I wonder if they're any good. Um, so there's a little bit of that. Another thing, but I'd say for the most part, the politeness thing is a better thing. Like just compared to like, it's just less chaos. Like it's just like, like I said, it's more orderly, like social order too. Like people are like, um, I don't know. They're just like more uh, well-behaved and just like less chaos. Like living in San Francisco is like, I don't know. You just, people fighting and fighting that. Japanese are very hard work. She, um, she's a hairstylist and she works like three hours a week. You know, that's like 12 hours a day and like six or seven days a week. And then she says she gets 20 days off a month and, oh no, no, no. She works 20 days a month. So she gets like 10 days off a month. If I understand, understood her correctly, that's what she said. But even though like um like her contract or whatever may say that like you know they still like i think some people are still kind of expected like social socially expected to put in the extra hours or put in the work um it's just kind of like a cultural thing and then like yeah i got another roommate who like used to live in uh australia and he said he just came back and I don't know. He, he's like going to be a student or something. 
uh, next month or in April or something. And now he's not working and he's just like, dude, like so anxious. Like he's like, always like projecting this stuff on me. Like, uh, what are you going to do today? What are you going to do today? He's like, um, what are you going to do? What are your plans and stuff like that? And he's like, dude, okay. What I do is I work on my website. I do jujitsu and I go to take Japanese classes and that's what I do. And that's like, he's like, oh, aren't you going to get a job or whatever or stuff like that? And it's like, mm, not really intending on it. It's not, not what I want to do. It's like, so people are also like, kind of like a bit robotic and like, uh, everybody's like working hard and wants a job. And I, I think there's not many, like I said earlier, like sort of like free thinkers or people who just want to like kind of do their own thing. Like most people are like, I don't know, just kind of keeping up with the Joneses or whatever sort of thing. And I guess that goes on in other cultures too, but here it's like, it's like, you know, the get the, you know, the foot's on the gas and it's like work, work, work. That's kind of the mentality. I wonder if this is like a little dry kind of come looks like they look like kumquats. I think I'm going to come back here because this is like these oranges. I see this a lot here. It's really weird. Like a lot of oranges and fruit, like from these trees just on the ground. Um, but I have tried some of them and a lot of them are kind of like dry and don't taste good. So maybe that's why they're, no one's picking them because they're not any good anymore or something. Um, so yeah, there's two, two more things I thought of. Um, so have a good one and I'll talk to you next time. Yes, the best self, best self, insider.